Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial on the R programming language. So in this video, we want to do a little bit of data analytics. And what I want to do is I want to make a prediction. So given some X value, I want to produce some Y value. And the perfect model for this is the linear regression model. All right, so uh, linear regression is an approach for modeling the relationship between scalar dependent variables uh, or variable, I'm sorry, which would be our Y variable and one or more independent variables, which would be our X or X's variables. So in this case, I I need to first find a data set. You know, what do I want to predict? And our programming language has uh, lots of data sets already available. And we can see it just by typing in data, left parentheses, right parentheses, press enter. And then this right here will retrieve a list of the R data sets. So in here, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see a data set called women. And women contains the average heights and weights for American women. So that's perfect. It looks like it'll have a um, X value, which may be our height and a y value which would be our weight or maybe if we want to predict the uh, height uh, then weight would be our x value and height would be our y value so it's however you want to look at it but in this case I want to predict a woman's height I'm sorry a woman's weight based on her height alright so now let's take a look at this data set we can do that by using the view function that's with the capital V and then we type in women which will be our data set, press enter. And now we can see the data that is contained in the data set and it has 15 rows and two columns, height and weight. I'm not sure about the unit of measurement, but that doesn't matter. This is what we get for now. And let's see if we can do some predictions uh, using the linear model. All right, so next up now we need to use this model uh, to make our predictions and R already has a function for it called LM. So I'm going to create a variable called linear model. I'm going to set it equal to our LM function. Now the LM function takes in a Y value and an X value and then we have to tell it the data set as well. So um, again our, our Y value in this case is what we're trying to predict which is a woman's weight. So weight will be our Y value and then our x value will be the height. Now in R, there's this tilde uh, that we have to use for the syntax. And then we have to put in the x value, which again is our height. So um, that's just one parameter that we need for our LM function. We put a comma here. We need to tell it the data set that we're going to use. And we can do that by saying data equals women, because we're going to use the women data set. And that's basically it that sets up our model for us. So again, weight is our predicted value um, or our Y value. And then height is our predictor value or our X value. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter here. Now let's take a look to see what our linear model looks like, what it, what it gives us back. So I, I need to know the, uh, the coefficients. Uh, uh, for us to use. And so here we see that our coefficients is or coefficients are negative 87.52 and 3.45. Now if you remember from maybe high school, junior high or college, a function like this, y equals mx plus b, then that's exactly what we're going to be using here to, to do our prediction, to make our prediction. So y in this case would be the woman um, predicted weight. And our m here will be 3.45. And our x will be our height value. So we're going to come back to that. And then b will be negative 87.52. All right, so let's make a prediction given this data set that we already have to see, it, you know, about how well is it doing? Is it making a pretty good prediction? Is it kind of accurate? So 
I'm going to put in 59 here for our x value. So times 59. And let's see if we get our predicted weight value of 117, or at least somewhere close to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this here. And we can actually see the value up top is 116.03, but I'll paste it here as well. And then you see we get 116.03. So that's pretty close to 117. Um, that's pretty good. Now what I want to do is uh, maybe plot our data. So I could do that using the plot function. And for plotting, we just do the same thing. We need a y uh, a y value. We need a x value. And just press enter. Oh, I have to tell it what data set to use. So I'll go back, copy this, paste it there, comma, data equals woman. Now let's plot it. Perfect. So now you see that we plotted the data set on this chart here. And next up, what we want to do is put the linear regression line on that chart. That's what that's the model that, that we're using basically. So to do that, we just use the app line function. And then we put in the linear model that we created. And it's going to put a line through the data for us, just like that there. So thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions that you have. Uh, of course, this was a really small data set, so it's probably you know not that great to do predictions on. We usually want to do predictions on a much larger data set than just 15 rows. So, uh, you know, if, if you have a certain height and you're not getting your right weight here, I wouldn't say this is actually very accurate um, for everyone, especially since the data set is just for American women and it's only 15 rows. But uh, you guys kind of get the gist of it. Pretty fun stuff. But anyways, thank you guys and I'll see you on the next video.